we have this to integrate the integral of x times the square root of ax squared plus b dx remember that dx it means you have x as the variable and any other letters you see there are constants all right if you differentiate ax squared plus b what do you get you're going to get 2x so this seems to be an integral of the form integral of f prime x f of x dx so in that case what i want you to do is pause the video and use this method um, integration by substitution so go ahead and then continue watching after you make a genuine attempt at integrating it okay you're finished so what we have here is a case where we can say let u, the substitution u, be equal to a x squared plus b. Alright. Then du by dx is equal to, well, it would be 2ax. And then <coughs> dx is equal to du over 2ax all right now let's rewrite the integral the integral of x so we have the integral of x well this would be the square root of u square root of u dx but du you want it in terms of du dx is du over 2ax now you will see something here x will cancel x this x is in the numerator and this one is in the denominator so they cancel now this can be written as the integral the integral of the square root of u du this is over 2a which as you know I already jump all the way back up there this can be written as 1 over 2a integral of square root of u du see that but remember a is just a number you know whatever number that is or you want it to be now this can be written as 1 over 2a integral of u raised to the power of the square root of a number is the number to the power of a half so it's u to the half, the u. So when you integrate this, what you have is u to the half plus 1, giving you the new power over half plus 1, dividing by the new power, plus c. So what you have now is 1 over 2a, u to the half plus 1 is 1 and a half. But we want it as a Improper fraction, 1 and a half, 2 and so on, 1, 3, 3, 3 over 2, divided by 3 over 2, plus C. So this becomes, well, 1 over, if you take this out here, the 2's will cancel. I have 3a, 1 over 3a, but instead of u, you write back what u was in um, originally. u is ax squared plus b. 
So you have ax squared plus b to the power of 3 over 2 plus c. It can also be written as ax squared plus b. Now, this is the square root of the cube of a squared plus b, if you remember your indices, plus c.